Question 36. A small business makes and sells birdhouses. Technology was used to draw straight line graphs to represent the cost of making birdhouses, C, and the revenue from selling birdhouses, R. The x-axis displays the number of birdhouses and the y-axis displays the cost or revenue in dollars. So there's the graph. Part A. How many birdhouses need to be sold to break even? So this is where the revenue equals the cost. So just find where they intersect, project down to the x-axis, and we can see here that 20 birdhouses need to be sold in order to break even. Break even means you're neither making a, you're not making a loss or a profit. So the answer is 20. Now part B, by first forming equations for cost and revenue, determine how many birdhouses need to be sold to earn a profit of $1,900. So profit is the difference between revenue and cost, and it's going to be 1,900. So we need to form an, these two equations and then form another, equations where, another equation where R minus C is equal to 1,900. So let's do this first. So let's work out the revenue first, or the equation for revenue. Okay, so that's the solid line. Okay, the y-intercept is zero. So this is an example of direct variation. Okay, so it's just going to be in the form y equals mx. Okay, so the gradient. Okay, is equal to rise over run. Okay, so we can just choose a convenient right angle triangle. So we might just choose this one here. The run is 10. And the rise is 400. So if you go up on the y-axis, it goes up in steps of $100. Okay, so that's going to be 400. So the gradient is 40. Okay, y-intercept is zero. Therefore, revenue is equal to 40x. Now let's have a look at the equation that represents the cost. And we're going to do the same thing again. Let's work out the gradient first. Okay. So the cost is the dotted line. Let's find a convenient right angle triangle. We might use this one here. Okay, so you can see where, where I'm pointing here. So the run is 20. Run is 20, and the rise, one, two, three, okay, that's $300. Okay. 300 divided by 20 should give us 15. Okay, and the y-intercept is here, 500. Therefore, cost C is equal to 15x, our gradient times x, plus 500. Now what we're going to do is form another equation and solve for x for the profit. Okay. So, profit. Okay. R minus C is equal to $1,900. Okay, so the revenue is 40x minus the cost, which is 15x plus 500 is equal to 1,900. Let's now expand the brackets. 40x minus 15x minus 500 is equal to 1,900. Let's now combine the like terms. 40x minus 15x is 25x. And 1,900 plus 500, so this 500 is gonna move over. Right. And we're gonna get 1,900 plus 500, should be 2,400. x is equal to 2,400. We're going to divide that by 25. So this 25 is um, going to be used to divide the 2,400 by 25. So 
Okay. Oh, 2400 divided by 25 and we get 96 therefore need to sell 96 just be careful anytime you write anything that you must stay above this line and you must stay inside this dotted line here 